This topic is outcomes and event probability. And in this problem, they're using a six-sided die, kind of like the die you roll in Monopoly. Anyway, there are six faces and they're labeled one, two, six, and you're gonna roll the dice. And it says that the six possible outcomes are listed below. The six possible outcomes are listed below. Here's the outcomes. When you roll that die, it'll either land on a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. Now they want you to answer parts A through C and write the probabilities as fractions. So for the first one, um, they want the event of rolling an odd number. Now what you're simply gonna do is click on each box that is an odd number. So I would click on one and three and five. Those are all odd numbers. And since that's one, two, three out of the six outcomes, that's my probability, three out of six. Now when I put it into Alex, I just typed in three out of six and it took it as a correct answer, but then it gave me a message saying, hey, your answer could have been simplified. So you can simplify it down to equal one half, either one will take it. However, I know that in the future, I'm gonna have to um, do some adding with these things. And when you add or subtract fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So I usually leave them in non-simplified form until the very end. Okay, so next we've got rolling a number that is less than three and a one is less than three and a two is less than three. So I have checked off two of the six boxes. So that's the probability, two out of six, which that could reduce down to one third. Next we've got, okay, what is the probability of rolling an odd number? Um, let's pick out a here, what might, or, or a number less than three. So the odd numbers were one, three and five. And the numbers that were less than three were one and two. And it could be either the blue or the green. Now you'll notice that this one was checked twice, but you only count it once. So when I look at this, I've got one, two, three, four of the six boxes checked off. So the probability on this is four out of six. Now that reduces down to two thirds. But once again, Alex took it with the four sixths. We didn't have to reduce it. I guess out in the real world, most answers are reduced down to simplest form. So you might wanna do that. And then the last one, event A, and B, this is rolling an odd number and, and rolling a number less than three. Now when they say the and, it has to be both odd and less than three. And there was only one of those and that was this box right here where I circled it. That box had both blue and green on it. So the number one, is the only number that is both odd and less than three at the same time. So the probability of here is one sixth. Now that fills in that part and then it takes you on to the next part. Part B says, whoops, sorry about that. Um, find the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. I'm gonna pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. That didn't lay out the way I wanted it to, so I wanna move this back up. Um, so part B is find the probability of A plus the probability of B and then subtract the probability of A and B. Okay, so back up here, event A was right here and the probability was for this one, and this is what I was talking about earlier, I'm just gonna leave it with the same denominator because everybody else has that denominator. And then event B was this one, a number less than three. So the probability of the green one, that was two sixths. And then we've got the probability of A and B, 
and that was this one, A and B, and that for my table was 1 sixth. And then I'm supposed to add the first two and subtract the second, so 3 sixths plus 2 sixths is 5 sixths. Sorry about that, that was my daughter going out the front door. 3 sixths plus 2 sixths is 5 sixths, minus 1 sixth is 4 sixths, which could also be reduced down to two-thirds. Okay, now that's going to take us to this last part, which I can't fit in. Um, it then asks you, when you calculated the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, and then they want you to click this drop-down box, which is kind of funny because when I did it, it didn't drop down, it dropped up. <laughs> it just popped up. And when you look at it, the answer that we got was um, this 4 6 right here, which when I go back and look right here, that was a 4 6 or 2 thirds. But that came from event A or event B. So this actually just kind of proves a formula. So my answer would be this one. You would click on A or B. So when you add, whenever you add two probabilities together and then you subtract out what they call the intersection, what they overlap with, then you get the probability of one of one or the other. It always works that way. So I hope that helped explain that a little better. And if not, let me know and I'll try another one.